Come here, girl. Come on, Nanami. You can do it. You can do it. You can make it. You're almost there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Just a little further. Almost. Almost. Good girl. <laughs> I'm sorry. After the whole fetch joke, I just had to do that. What's up, guys? It's What the Foo, and welcome back to Let's Play Okami Den. In the last episode, we got about two thirds of the way through the five story pagoda. In this episode, we're going to go down here and immediately be greeted by torches. And if our experience thus far is any indication, we know exactly what we need to do here. Put them out, because fire has no place in a water temple. Put out these two. And, um. Maybe this one? Five? Good even number? Yeah? Sound good? Alright. Yep, that opens the door. Break open these pots just to make sure we don't run out of ink inconveniently. <sighs> Enter this room where we've seen something new. Can't get past those spikes, obviously, because they're not fully submerged under the water. You don't think we have to connect those two hooks, do you? Hmm. Maybe. I don't know, it just really bothers me. The fact that they don't expect people to figure this shit out. She could point out the hooks, and most people would get the idea, oh hey, I gotta connect them. Like they'd fit, screw around with it, and when the line turns green, they'd be like, oh sure. Wait a minute, I wonder. Yeah, I thought as much. Come on, Capcom, that's just lazy. There were spikes and a pool of water in my way. You couldn't have put anything other than a bottomless pit there. <sighs> Open up a flaming treasure chest. This is Masterpiece Part 2, number 6. Got six num number 2. Oh, screw you. Get out of here. Beat it, buddy. I'm not putting up with your crap. Okay, this is actually a really interesting part of the game right here. There's a couple bugs you can do. See the, how there's two switches here? Well, if you tell Nanami to go from one to the other, as soon as she hits the water, she just stops. Now, if you do it while she's in the water... She'll go to the one, but here's the problem. After this little scene right here ends, her path will be canceled out. And you'll have to guide her all over again. Now, here's the thing, though. If you only guide her to one switch while she's up... You've got to be kidding me. While she's up there... She will just go straight for it. So I don't know why that's like that. I couldn't even give you an estimation. I have no idea what's up with the coating there. But it doesn't really matter. Don't have to focus on that because now we've got brand new adversaries. You thought fire logs were bad? Try fire crosses. I know I can do this. Come on. Come on, eye of the tiger, eye of the wolf. Yeah! Okay, I just wanted to prove to myself I could do that once, and on camera, no less. All right, but typically, this is how you want to deal with them. Just draw water to both, and it'll get the, well, it should get the whole thing out of your way. Obviously, it didn't right there. Put this out, so we have a little more room to maneuver in here. Alright, grab some ink and go down further into the depths. Now we're playing a 2D side-scroller, apparently. Drop a bomb onto this rock right here. And as soon as that's done with, get a helpful lift from a friendly geyser. Thank you, generous um, monument of the earth. Natural occurrence, whatever. Okay, I don't understand this, okay? I want to point this out. This 
is something I just can't figure out. Okay, we got two sets of exploding blocks right here. You draw a bomb, falls down onto those blocks, but it blows up both of them. Like, what was that thing? Why does destroying the bottom blocks also affect the top ones? What the hell was that? But we can't pay attention to that because there's a switch over there. Nami volunteers to go ahead and push it without our consent. Oh, uh, whatever. Guide her to it. Now watch this. Force push! <laughs> and now... Now! Ah, oh, my lifelong dream. Not since an insane aquarium on the PC have I... Have I felt this kind of joy? Now we have our own little pet mermaid. Awesome! Got it. Oh. Uh -huh. Not even a failed bomb drawing can spoil my joy about this. Oh, I just love having pets. Let's open up the tank a little bit and help her help her get through. Hi, Nanami. Are you comfortable in your new surroundings? I know it's going to take a little while to adjust, but you'll get used to it. Hey, Benton is down there. Why don't you go say hi to him? He's friendly. He's gonna love you. There you go. See? Benton's nice and friendly. Hey! Bad Benton! Sit. You leave her alone. She's a guest. That's yours, Nanami. Go on. Go eat it. Go help yourself. Now, in the meantime... I'm gonna move along, see if I can go, um, meet her down there. Aw, you didn't touch your food. Guess you're not hungry right now. And who put that there? Who put that ugly thing in your tank? Let me go get rid of that. Alright, and that takes us back up there. Uh, right through here, and up here, and... Okay, who put the log of fire in my house? That thing so does not go with the walls. Drop on the switch right here. That breaks up the spinning death spike things. Whatever they are. Move right along. Hey, Nanami, go force push that switch, will you? It'll help you explore the rest of your tank. You're gonna love it. Oh. <laughs> no, no, I appreciate the effort, but you're actually gonna have to go down there. More great coding from Capcom, I see. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Just like the walking practice we did. That gets rid of my path. Aw, isn't that cute? She's trying to say something to us. I'll drop down here. <laughs> I feel like such an asshole right now. I mean... Just a couple minutes ago, just one dungeon ago, she was telling us how she hates all humans because they couldn't care less about a mermaid's life. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? We got a dramatic camera angle. That means something's going to happen down there if I push the switch. What is it? Ooh! Ooh! Could this be intelligent puzzle solving right here? Sad, happy, angry. It's a pattern. We're going to have to use this in a puzzle somewhere. Oh, all right. Finally, the game's done talking down to us. I will remember that. Sad, happy, mad. Sad, happy, mad. S-H-M. But like any good game, it's got another puzzle here for us to try and make us forget. But I'm not going to. Sad, happy, mad. See how bad... See how much we actually pay attention to the details. Break, break open this. Connect the boulder. Now, who would have a setup in the like this, but in their dungeon, by the way? Why would you have to push boulders on those? Sw somebody, I want to point this out. Somebody actually set this up to make it so you had to push boulders onto a switch to get this treasure. I mean, what is it? What's so worth it? Oh, a bead key. Well. Okay, I guess that would be valuable if I actually knew where the door was. We haven't seen one yet, have we? Maybe it's down here. I'll check that out. I was right. How many doors does that make again? 
Oh, whatever. I'm not going to embarrass myself by trying to count them like in the last video. Got another something right here. What are those things called again? Uh, well, it doesn't matter. Hit him and move on. That's a two-person switch, so I'm going to need Denami to do this. And that's yet another boulder. Too bad we won't be seeing a whole lot of these outside of this place. Now, pay attention to that boulder I just moved. This, uh, there's something really, really interesting about this that I'm going to point out here in a bit. Okay? Just trust me, this is really entertaining. Go up here. Get us some spirit ink out of the treasure chest and press down the switch right here. And what does that do? It opens up the path. So, hey again, Nanami. Did you miss me? Ah, uh, of course you did. Because uh, you're my Nanami. Here, why don't you go down here and meet Trevor? He's a lot nicer than Benton, I promise. Aw, oh, see? You two are the best of friends already. Now, unf now, unfortunately, you can't get used to him too much, though. Got another friend I want you to meet. That is Dave right down there. Let's go meet him. Dave kind of likes swinging up and down all day. But he, uh, hey! We don't judge him until he does something wrong like that. Alright, Nanami, I'm sure you want to get a breath of fresh air, so let's get you out of the aquarium for a little bit. We'll come back here, don't worry. Alright. Bring her right back out of here. Pick her up. Come here and let me hug you. I knew you'd get me out of there. Honestly, I would have gone out in the dungeon without you if I had my way, but this is not the original. And look at this, a nice change of pace. We get faith from our partner. And it's just enough to level up. How about that? Seven units of solar energy. And it's convenient that that happens just now, because we are going into the boss fight here in a little bit. Okay. Ah, oh, ha, ha, ha. Now, you gotta pay attention to this, okay? I gotta point this out. This is a really cool little glitch, but you gotta be looking. Look at the bottom right corner of the top screen, okay? Just keep your eyes there. Now, if you hold right... Did you see that? Let me put it again as an instant replay so you catch it. Did you see that? That's weird, isn't it? The boulder resets itself to the position it was in whenever you enter the room again. It's like it, the only thing it registers is that you've connected the vine, so it's got to place itself back in that spot. It's got to play through the animation again. I don't know why that's like that. Once again, Capcom's coding escapes me. I just have no idea what the hell happened there. Oh. Hey, this is a statue. Oh! Sad face. Blank face. Angry face. What was in the middle? S-H-A. Sad, happy, angry. Yes, I remember. Finally, I get to use my own, and I remember what it looked like, too. A little upside-down use for the eyes, and a um, smile on the bottom. Yes! Finally, I will be able to use my own skill and my own memory to figure out a puzzle for once. Thank you, Capcom. You are finally done condescending me. Woo! I hate you people. And by the way, you're not trying to outline it this time. You've actually got to color in the mouth and the eyes and everything. Because once it look, it's restored, I mean, that totally looks like what I just drew, doesn't it? It's not at all like what we would have had to done for any other restoration project where we had to draw the outline and there's the rest is just on the inside. Oh, this statue's moving too. Is it going to give us more treasure? Uh, no, it's going to push us backwards into a white screen effect. 
You fixed it. Why is it trying to hurt us? Apparently it doesn't like being fixed. And who screams like that? Kia! Why not just ah or arg or bleh or barf? I don't know. And these are enemies we've already seen before, so I will see you guys in just a second. And we're back. All right, the door opens up. I see that Ashra statue was just a guard. Careful now, the smell of that catfish tells me it's nearby. My question is, who is Ashra? And what's up with that other statue? The nuh, nuh something. You mind explaining what those are? Hey you. Hey you. Give me your crap. This is a mugging. Pay up to the gods. I command you. Give me your wares for free. Or I will smite thy ass. Seriously, you're like a bug from up here. I could just go and you're gone. Oh, whatever. It's a save. Now we're back. Ah, time to go fight us some catfish. Are you ready? Yes. All right, let's go. Let's do this. Come on. Well, actually, we're not gonna do this straight off the bat. I'm. I kind of want the boss fight to. Well. Oh, screw it, we have time. But I am gonna call on a friend to help me out with this really quickly. Um, hang on just one sec, I'll be right back. friends. Welcome to Let's Play How to Catch a Catfish. Today we're going to be hunting one big catfish. You don't know He's swimming around somewhere down in this lake. We're going to find him. We're going to catch him. We're going to grill him. He's going to be our food. Be careful, Squiddy. He's close. You don't have to tell me. I know he's close. I mean, I couldn't tell by a giant fin coming out of water, you know. Or the giant electric whiskers. Watch out! Hey, at least one of you paying attention. That's good. And there he is. That one. Ugly catfish, don't you think? We are here. He is here. And we is ready. Alright. I'm going to show you how to catch this sucker. I'm going to show you how to beat the crap out of his ass. And I'm going to show you how, later on, how to grill him. You dumbass catfish, you a catfish, not a carp. You got giant whiskers, you got the same teeth, you got the same kind of body, you are a catfish. Really a carp, and soon I will become a dragon. Whatever you say, man. Whatever you say, I don't really care. I'm just here to show the people watching on YouTube how to catch you. Alright? Now. He ain't gonna give us back the boy. But unfortunately for him, he don't need to. We're gonna beat the boy out of him. As for that. Hmm. <laughs> Why don't you slice my belly open and have a peek inside? Of course, that would be impossible for you, though. <laughs> you obviously haven't seen me before. I do this for a living. Now, he got the lady's jewels right here. He has stolen her treasures. So already this catfish is pissing me off. He's being rude to women. He's thinking we can't catch him. And he's laughing at us. I'm going to enjoy this one. Of course, considering how big he is, this ain't going to be easy. And he can talk, too. That is the, that is the hard part. The tough ones can talk. Only the biggest, meanest suckers out of them all have this guy's traits. But that's what this is going to make this video so good. 
So first off, we'll try to hit, hit him while he's swimming around. Of course, the swimming around doesn't real help. Now he's gonna open his mouth, but his tongue can be hooked on to this flower right up here. And he's gonna be flopping around like a fish on a hook, because that's pretty much what he is. And we're gonna put an end to right, that right here by power slashing his ass. Now, you're gonna take this mirror here, and you are gonna beat this catfish's ass. Now, unfortunately, it is almost impossible to avoid that belly flop. Just because of how big the damn guy is, and how big the hitbox is. I'm gonna do it again. All the same process. Hook him up on the flower. Power slash him so he doesn't flop around. Come on. Come on. Beat him down. Get off the side. Yes! If you're falling off the side, you may just avoid getting hit. Now he's swimming away to the next island. He's thinking we... Now he's thinking that these frogs can, can hold us out while he goes to do something. But that ain't gonna work because we're gonna send our mermaid right over there. Now you're gonna try a belly flopper, but that ain't gonna happen. Once again, we're gonna power slash him and that's gonna stop his plans. Now you're gonna try it again, but you're gonna fall the same fate. He were... Now if he were smart, he might have tried going under the water, but you dumbass catfish. Or I'm sorry, a cop, as like as he like to think he is. So he ain't smart enough to think about that. Now he's swimming around, which doesn't really fool us because we already know cameras following him. So it doesn't really confuse us about where he is. So he's gonna try eating our asses one more time, but that ain't gonna work. Oh crap! Well, shoot, that wasn't supposed to happen. Alright. Time is a little different on this, but it's still the same concept. You gotta hook his tongue to that flower, slash him, and then beat him. Beat that catfish's ass. You show no mercy. Remember to stay off to the side. Try anyway. Ain't always gonna work, I'm telling you that right now. So we power slash him. Ah! Oh, and what the hell was that? You see that ink pop bottle flying all over the damn place? He's being a jerk right now, he ain't opening his mouth. Because I don't think he realizes that just yet. Can't exactly catch him to the flower, so we just gotta settle for power slashing him. Hoping, hoping it weakens him down just enough. So we're gonna try again, but ain't gonna work. We'll hook him up again. I know this ain't the most exciting process in the world, but hey, that's how the catfish works. If it, if it lets you catch him, it's fine with me. It should be fine with you too. Taking quite a while for this one. But hey, like I said, the bigger they are, the ornery they are. And at least now he's letting us do it over and over again. Oh! Oh, you little jerk. Now where did that come from? Now he's off to the next island. We stuck here. We gotta guide this gr girl through there. I mean, did he like dig that up off the ocean floor or something? No, no, I'm probably giving this guy too much credit. I mean, this from the catfish that thought he was going to become a dragon. Why the hell he want to become a dragon anyway? Aren't those extinct? I mean, not to mention, it'd be pretty hard to find ladies. Seeing as how you're the only one of your kind left in the world. A pretty lonely existence. Alright, we over on the next island, and now this is where things get tricky. Usually when they're desperate, they're gonna try something special. And that ain't special. That's the same damn thing we doing on the last island. Over and over again. But hey, nobody said fishing was exciting. Down to the side. 
You on surface? Try to come up for air. Now he gonna try to shock us with those whiskers of his like he did it earlier, but that ain't gonna work because now we expect it, and now we can use our tried and true power slash to stun him with his own electricity. And in turn, we can now take advantage of his exposed tongue to do, you guessed it, hook him, line him, and sink him. We should only have to do this about one more time. If he doesn't belly flop us to death. Ugh, being a jerk. Come on, come on. There we go, that's what I was waiting for. Power slash him, hook him up. And this time I don't even need, I don't even need to power slash him. He is wolf weak enough as it is. Cause there he goes. That, we are done. That catfish is now ready to be caught. Look at that. Belly up. This is an interesting fact right here. Look right in his mouth. And guess who it is, ladies and gentlemen. Our good friend Cooney. Coming from the belly of the catfish. Because, you know, dumbass fish doesn't have too good digestive juices. Human being could totally survive in there for hours and hours on end. And come out with nothing but being covered in junk. And he happened to find, find something. Yup, the wet jewel and the dry jewel. And being the gentleman he is, he's gonna give it back to the Nami. Finally. Aw, oh, doesn't she look so happy? That's a good day when you can catch a catfish and make a lady happy. The sucker doesn't want to give up. Don't think you won. You should see my true strength. Well, not quite. I don't usually get to do this all that often. Or see this. There's a different process to catching this guy. It involves hours of waiting and all kinds of weird things. But this time we're going to cut straight to the chase. And I do mean that literally. <laughs> Now that's a sight. After all the crap this catfish put us through, now we're gonna give him some crap. Get ready, cause we about to hit him with everything we got. Watch carefully. I don't get to show this that often. Here's the first slash we gotta make. That's one. Here's the second one. Uh, oh, damn it. Alright, here the first one. Alright, here's the second one. Alright, here's the third one. Oh, crap, please work. Yeah? Awesome chop! And here the fourth one. You going down? I have no idea what that said. Actually, yeah, I do. I know what that said. It, it said dinner is served. Because that's what this guy is now. And that is dinner right there. How about that? Pooch is gonna celebrate? Why not celebrate? That was an awesome catch. Little Rocky there for a while, he was belly flopping on us, but we got him. You know what else? It. Aww. Sean gonna be pissed. He wanted a perfect on that. Oh well. Sorry you guys had to sit through all that. I apologize sincerely to any actual Cajuns watching this. Whew! But man, I had to come up with something to make that boss battle more interesting. That takes a while. What the hell's going on here? You've gotta be kidding me! 
I hit you with a quick time event, you bastard! You should be dead! Ugh. My final act is to sentence you to your eternal doom. Oh yeah? How are you gonna do that, smartass? What? Wait. Wait. What? What did he... What? What was... How did he... What did he just hit? Why is all the water draining out of the forest now? What? What just happened? You know what? I'm done. No more. I, I'm done trying to make sense out of this game because it really doesn't... Guys, seriously? Do you think that's the best time for that? Do you think this is the best time for that, really? Watch out! Boom! Ouch! Kuni got nailed! That's what you get for trying to do that in the middle of a dramatic cutscene. Oh, look at Chibi. He's trying to save him. But, thank you. But only one of us can make it. I don't know, man. I'm sure I could pull you off of that log pretty easily. Or, whatever. You can just sacrifice yourself for the greater good. Okay. Owned. See you around. Way to go, Cooney! You knocked him out! God, even when you're sacrificing yourself, you still can't avoid being an asshole, can you? Hey, and there's our catfish! I'm gonna grill that sucker! I don't want none of that smog, so I'm glad that's getting out of there. And our demonic air cleaner is back here. Getting rid of all the crap that came out of the catfish's mouth. Hello, that looked like Nami. Um... You know, I... Okay, I know this is really awkward. I like your new hairstyle and everything, but... What the hell's happening? Hold on, we'll be on dry land soon. And how does she swim against currents that strong? Isn't she just a little tiny? Even if she's a mermaid, she's just a little tiny. <laughs> I'm sorry, Squiddy. Look at that hair. Apparently she's Chun-Li now. I couldn't find Cooney. Ah, uh, to be honest with you, I'm not too heartbroken about that. I can feel his life force in the water. Oh. Well, okay, I guess he's still out there somewhere. Down to wash ashore somewhere. But where? That's the mystery. Before you go, you should rest up. Thank you for all your help. I can never repay that. Uh, yes you can, actually, and you will be later on in the story. As for how, though, you guys are just gonna have to wait and see. But here's a clue. Here's a hint, just in case you're wondering. I know you don't remember this. But we did meet before, you know. I know you'll remember someday. Good luck to you, Squiddy. Don't forget me again. Huh. She's not there. So was that... Was that last line a dream? Did she actually say that and just vanish into thin air? I didn't even see her under the water. Um. Uh. Hmm. Well, this sucks. We are in completely uncharted territory. We are partnerless. And guess what? We are surrounded by a gigantic ass curse zone. 
This just keeps getting better and better, doesn't it? Wonderful. Well, exploring this new area is going to take quite a bit. So you know what? I'm just going to cut things off right here. This uh, has been good enough. It's been a good ride. So I will see you guys on Sunday when we will explore this brand new area and hopefully find somebody to tag along for the ride because, I don't know, I, my back's feeling kind of lonely right now. See you guys later.